Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. Today we will be talking about joining multiple strings, so series of letters together using the str underscore c function. If you don't know any function, the first thing to do is always look at its help file. So you can do this the most easily by clicking on it and then pressing F1. So from here you can learn that it is to join multiple strings into a single string and also there is a short description and a description of use. It is a part of the string R package which is included in the tidyverse so that's why I have the tidyverse loaded here. And of course it is not carryable but variable to change. Anyway so I defined here a variable and then a short sentence which says hi my name is and then includes the name which is defined so when we run this part the outcome is hi my name is Gabor so here you can see a little mistake so namely that there is no space between the s and the g here that is because the default separator variable as defined here if we don't define anything is uh, basically nothing so there is no separator defined in this particular case, there is multiple ways to fix this, either by including a space here or defining the separator variable uh, at the end of this line. So we say sep equals and a space. And we rerun the same and then now it's displayed correctly. Now, of course, if we change this and we say fill, then we rerun the whole thing and now it says hi my name is Bill. If we want to extend this line we can do so by adding more parts of text between uh, double quotation marks or more variables. These should be separated by commas so if we uh, add uh, something here and we rerun then we see that this is correctly displayed here. This command, the str underscore c, is very similar to the uh, paste command uh, or the paste zero, well, not command, but function of base r. But because uh, personally I prefer or try, I'm trying to use a tidyverse more, so I prefer the strc, but the paste or the paste zero are equivalent commands doing basically the same thing. Now you can do quite a number of quite fancy things with this uh, STRC as you will learn here in its description but frankly what I intend to use it for is just pasting together simple text. You might recall parts of the scripts similar to these from my uh, previous scripts when I use this strc command mostly to generate plink lines that are then being run with the system command. Here notice that the setup of the lines is really the same as before, so there are multiple occurrences of text between double quotation mark and then there is a variable and the text, variable, text, variable and again a text. Multiple variables or pieces of text also can follow each other, but the most important is to divide them by a comma. Here I take care of the spacing within the quotation marks, so I don't specify the separation or separator values, so I accept the default separator that is shown here. So, of course, if we run this, then we have the, well, the long blink line. So when we change our mind and we want uh, some different uh, values in the uh, runs, so we don't need to search for them in the commands, but just changing the variables and uh, rerunning them actually then produces the line that we want. Again, this is just an example used, that, but there are many occasions when pasting or joining together strings is extremely helpful when analyzing genomic data. So this definitely should be in your inventory when it comes to writing script files in general. For now, thank you for your time and also check out the other important R commands for genomic analysis.